Hi guys, it's Terry here, and um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to read you another story for ASMR artists and those of you out there. I'm whispering because it's part of the ASMR, you have to whisper. Another Airwolf story coming right up for you, as I promised, weekly. It's been weekly already, so here we go. Episode 4, The Robbery of Hollywood. One moonlit night in London, Prime Minister David Cameron was about to settle down for the night, but his mobile phone rang. It was President Barack Obama. He said... David, I need you. I need that machine of yours. Airwolf. And your pilot, Terry Bartlett. To help a film producer with a problem. David said, What is the problem that Terry can handle with Airwolf? He asked President, he asked President, Mr. President, he asked Mr. President, he asked, I mean he asked, Mr. President added, One of his best planes has been stolen. He uses it for a movie, but why, but why we do not yet know. The plane is a B-25, is a B-25 bomber. Can Airwolf handle it? The Prime Minister said, Of course she can. Airwolf and Terry can handle anything. He'll leave for America tomorrow. And he put the phone down. They both agreed that Terry can do it alone, but the mighty Airwolf pilot had other ideas. David and Terry met up Met up. Terry said, Don't worry, I know someone in the Hollywood films and all industries. She is quite an expert on planes herself. I'll take off at once. A few hours later, Terry arrived at Terry took off in Airwolf. Terry took off in Airwolf and headed for LA. Made a fuel stop along the way. And he arrived at LAX. Where his friend was waiting for him. It was Sharon. It was Sharon. She was Terry's expert on aircrafts. Also, Terry met Sharon at the Airwolf training facility and was delighted to help Terry. Sharon was already in her Airwolf flight suit as she climbed into the cockpit of Airwolf and onto the computer. She said, I missed you, Terry, because you make me laugh. But anyway, let's find that bomber. That bomber. Soon they took off into the sky after refueling, but suddenly the B-25 plane found them and opened fire, but Terry outran the, pla outran the plane with the turbos. After deploying Airwolf's weapons, Terry flew, ar flew around with the aircraft, flew around for a bit, trying to see if he can shake the bomber. But it was no good, the bomber kept opening fire, rockets, machine gun, bullets, everything. But, uh, but Airwolf is bulletproof, and Terry outran the missiles each time he opened the, the B-25 opened fire. Eventually Terry used the turbos to do his manoeuvres with Airwolf and shot the plane down. The pilots jumped out, but landed in the water where the police arrested them. 
Sharon said, well, Terry, that was close. That was a close one. Let's go and celebrate your victory with my detectives and Rusty. When they arrived at Sharon's precinct, her officers cheered and lived happily ever after. The end. Well, that was a good story, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, I guess you lot want to know, who's Sharon? Oh, well, if you watch Major Crimes, the TV show, I used Captain Sharon. That's her, that's her first name, anyway, Sharon, anyway. So I used her name. So, that was the story. Of Airwolf, the robbery of Hollywood. Well, I thought I'd come up with a good name, but even though it's not good, it's six minutes long. But unless you guys want another story, then here it here it comes. Uh, let's see now, episode five, the Wicked Witch. <laughs> it might look funny, but here goes nothing. One spooky Halloween night in October 2012, a mysterious woman was causing trouble at Lady Allen Adventure Playground. Calls herself the Wicked Witch of London. She was a hypnotist who gains control of her slaves, when in fact it was a woman under another hypnos hypnotist's spell. One night at youth club time, she found Terry Bartlett playing the tower game. But the witch's name was the ex-Lady Allen manager, Chi. She had no choice but to obey her mistress, to hypnotise Terry, to get his prized possession, Airwolf. Becky was nearby and can hear what she was doing, but it was too late. Terry was under Chi's control. Becky knew what to do. She drove to Airwolf's hiding place, the abandoned skipyard that I was experimenting with, and hid inside the mighty helicopter. Terry and Chi arrived the next morning. Becky saw who the mistress really was. It was Terry's enemy from school, Keisha, who really wanted Elle for her own selfish game. Terry was in his original clothes. In his original clothes. But she was in her own clothes. Keisha told Terry and Chi to fly Airwolf to her military base in Spain. After she left them, Terry and Chi climbed into, into Airwolf, but Becky was ready to inject the an, an antidote to wake up Chi and Terry. When they entered Airwolf, Ter Becky injected Terry first, then Chi. When they woke up, Terry said, Becky, what's going on? And why are we in Airwolf? Becky told them what happened. Told them about Keisha. Keisha's brainwash spell. Then Terry said, Well, Keisha's about to get a nasty surprise. Let's go. And get Keisha and teach her a lesson about Airwolf. They took off after Keisha to Spain. And deployed Airwolf's weapon, deployed the weapons, the chain guns and ADF pods. Soon they arrived before she did and started to destroy the radio. I uh, started, uh, not the radio, destroy the base. Started to destroy the base, blowing up everything. Terry shot up everything, started shooting up the base, blowing up the tanks, blowing up everything with Airwolf's weapons, 
showing everyone what Airwolf can do. Oh, where was I? Oh, that. Excuse me. Yeah. Base. Keisha arrived, but was horrified when she saw the base was smashed to tiny, tiny bits. Tiny bits, tiny bits. She said over the radio, How did you break free of the spell? Terry said, Well, my lady Alan friend gave me and she the antidote to wake up to wake up and you needed a lot to learn about Airwolf. Keisha was arrested for attempted theft. She said, I'm sorry for brainwashing you, Terry. I was washed too. But I promised to keep Airwolf a secret. Terry accepted the, poly the apology and took the girls home, and they lived happily ever after. The end. Another fine story, folks, of Airwolf. Unless you want me to keep going, I can't read the entire 60. I did 60 Airwolf stories. I start because I thought Airwolf must live on. And there you go, she lives on. And I do wish I could put the Airwolf music on there, so I can I do it when I edit the film, or something like that. Well guys, today I'll be joining um, the live stream, the uh, Minxlaura123's live stream, which she's doing another one today on her uh, Minxlaura123's Wacky World vlog channel. So, Laura! There you go, there you go my lovely, that's a special shout out for you, and if, hopefully I'll be filming more train videos soon guys, if you want me to, which I'll try my best, I couldn't film Tornado yesterday because I was <clears throat> indisposed, I, I was at my doctor's appointment yesterday, for a health check, my health review, so I'm fine. Well, I have to wrap this one up, folks. See you again really soon. And don't worry, I'll keep uploading random videos, which is my the tube train video, which you've just seen. That I'll try and do more of that. See you later, folks.